Here in my sitting room begins the story of the cover of the sound of his own voice with this illustration by Abby Stace that was on the cover of my last album, Who Was Changed and Who Was Dead. It's a picture of a horse and a skeleton, their limbs are somewhat tangled, and it was likened, I got an email uh, from an English professor likening her style to that of a photographer called Jamie Baldrige. And I'm, I fell in love with his stuff and I uh, bought a couple of prints from him. And this one's called Vox Day Third Movement. There's his signature, Jamie Baldrige. It's number six of 20. And this one, which is very beautiful, is called The Annunciation. It's also six of 20 and it's by Jamie Baldrige. And these sit in my front room. There you go, there they are. Also scattered around our house are the works of Remedios Varro, a surrealist. I think that one's called something like Woman Leaving the Psychiatrist. And uh, I find her work to be the missing link between Jamie Baldridge's work and Abby Stace's illustrations. I got in touch with Jamie, and for some reason he agreed to do my album cover, and I told him the name, the sound of his own voice, and I sent him the album, and he said, I'll give you a Cadillac of a cover, and he came up with the idea, and I'm not going to give away any of his... He is both a photographer and a magician, and so I'm going to be very careful not to give away any of his secrets. But this is the image he came up with, and I... I think it's very beautiful and I thank him very much for doing it.